George Washington, 1732 to 1799, Washington led the American army during the War of Independence and was the first president of the United States. He is one of the most important figures in American history. George Washington was born on the 22nd of February, 1732 in Westmoreland County, Virginia into a family of prosperous farmers. At 16, he became a surveyor, and a year later, he was appointed surveyor of Culpeper County, Virginia, his first public office. In 1752, he joined the colonial militia. During the French and Indian War, known in Europe as the Seven Years' War, Washington won a reputation for bravery. He then returned to farming at Mount Vernon, a plantation he had inherited from his half-brother. In 1759, he married Martha Custis, a wealthy widow. In the same year, Washington entered the Virginia House of Burgesses, where he consistently opposed what he saw as unfair British taxes. By 1774, Washington was one of the leading Virginian figures supporting the colonial cause. He was sent by Virginia to both the First and Second Continental Congresses in 1774 and 1775. In June 1775, Washington was appointed commander of all colonial forces. He set about forming the Continental Army and trying to feed, clothe, and equip his soldiers. His early military fortunes were mixed but an American victory at Saratoga in October 1777 prompted the French to agree to an alliance with the Americans. Although Washington's fortunes did not immediately improve, with French military and naval assistance, the tide began to turn. On the 19th of October, 1781, the British army surrendered at Yorktown. Peace talks began in Paris and a treaty was signed in 1783. In 1787, Washington was elected president of the Constitutional Convention and used his immense influence to persuade the states to ratify the resulting constitution. In 1789, he was unanimous elected the first president of the United States. He faced huge challenges in welding together the individual states to establish a new nation and creating a government for that nation. Washington was also dismayed by the emergence of political parties, the Federalists and the Democratic Republicans, led by his two closest advisors, Alexander Hamilton and Thomas Jefferson respectively. Washington wanted to retire after his first term but was re-elected to a second term in 1792. He succeeded in maintaining American neutrality when war broke out between Britain and France in 1793 and also normalized diplomatic relations with Britain. Washington finally retired from public life in 1797 and died at Mount Vernon on the 14th of December, 1799. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel.